Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's here. There might actually be baseball this summer. Unbelievable. I was at baseball all day, not Major League Baseball, I was at Antonelli Baseball, but I got home and I jumped on Twitter and there's lots of tweets flying around over the last couple hours. I want to fill you guys in. We're going to get into the exact tweets in a second, but Tony Clark, Rob Manfred, they had a meeting, an actual meeting. It sounds like a face-to-face -face meeting, like a real thing. Like We've waited all this time, months and months and months, and then finally we said, you know what? Maybe we should have a face-to-face -face meeting. That might solve everything. It might have. Let's get into the details. So John Heyman said, breaking. MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred and Players Union Chief Tony Clark had what's being called a productive meeting face-to-face -face in Arizona. Meeting was called at Manfred's request. He then said, breaking again. MLB and Players Union are closing in an agreement to play the 2020 season via players. Deal expected to be for prorated pay and include expanded playoffs. So then my boy Jeff Passan jumps in, says Major League Baseball has sent a new proposal to the MLB Players Association sources to LSBN. No deal is done, but with Rob Manfred and Tony Clark having met, this is seen as significant progress considering where the parties were 48 hours ago. He then tweeted again, just to clarify, because there has been reports that baseball is definitely back. It's not definitely back, but he clarifies, he says, there is no agreement between MLB and the MLBPA. MLB knows players must get full prorata. League wants players to waive right to grieve. Expanded playoffs a part of this. Number of games is vital. Other issues too. There is work to be done. But a pathway to a deal does exist. Then Ken Rosenthal jumps on here from The Athletic. He says, source, MLB proposal includes 60 games in 70 days, season starting July 19th and 20th, full prorated salary, expanded playoffs in 2020 and 2021, waiving of any potential grievance. He then says one more time, union would figure to counter, perhaps with goal of settling at 65 games with full prorated salaries. That number would get players approximately 40 percent of their original projected earnings for 2020 per Jason Stark. 66 games might work best for scheduling purposes. Then my boy Jeff jumps back in. He says, worth noting, MLB's last offer to the players maxed out at $1.5 billion. The money over a 60-game season at full pro rata, $1.5 billion. If there's a deal to be done, it's going to be for more than 60 games. Union will counter higher, and somewhere in the middle is the season. So guys, the big thing is it looks like we're getting closer. It looks like we finally might have some baseball this summer. Now, there's still some negotiating that has to happen, but it sounds like both sides are close enough that we should be able to come to a deal, hopefully within the next week. Now, Commissioner Manfred also put out this memo. Let's check it out. So Commissioner of Baseball, Robert D. Manfred Jr. issued the following statement today. At my request, Tony Clark and I met for several hours yesterday in Phoenix. We left that meeting with a jointly developed framework that we agreed could form the basis of an agreement and subject to conversations with our respective constituents. I summarized that framework numerous times in the meeting and sent Tony a written summary today. Consistent with our conversations yesterday, I am encouraging the clubs to move forward and I trust Tony is doing the same. Okay, guys, again, why Why didn't we have a face-to-face -face a couple of months ago? Well, I know why, because nobody wanted baseball a couple of months ago. The owners didn't want baseball. That would have been too many games, and they knew they weren't going to be able to pay the players, and the players wanted full prorated salary, and so they weren't going to get that much if we ended up playing 120 games or something like that. just wasn't going to happen, and so we've just, just kind of sat around and wasted time and thrown out fake proposals that were never going to get agreed upon until finally now we're in range. We're within range of 
of what the owners are willing to pay. And so now hopefully we can come to some sort of agreement. It sounds like we're getting closer. I hope this thing doesn't just blow up on us. I don't think it's going to. My original prediction was to play somewhere in the, the 70s. I thought that would work. Now it looks like it might be in the 60s. Again, the union is going to uh, send a uh, counter proposal number 4,672 to try to push the games up from 60, maybe in the mid 60s. Maybe they shoot for 70 or, or right around there. But I think now it looks like it's probably going to end up somewhere in the 60s, which again, I'll watch 60 something baseball games. Okay, guys, I'll take it. I know a lot of people are like, screw baseball. We don't ever want to see baseball again. I still want to see baseball. Okay, I'll watch Major League Baseball for 60 something games. And then I'll watch an expanded playoffs and I'll be really happy. I'll be pumped about it. Okay, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Keep your fingers crossed. I think something's going to happen here in the next week. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give the uh, thumbs up and all that stuff. Thanks to our patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel. That's all we got. I'm out of breath. We'll talk to you later.